In this video, I want to share with you three price action trading strategies that have made me over six figures. Trust me, these price action trading strategies are simple, effective, and guess what? They are very, very easy to implement. Without further ado, let's go. So the first trading strategy is actually what we call the break off structure. So how this strategy works is that you want to identify a break off structure and then you want to enter when that happens. So let me just draw it out for you guys to see. So let's say price is like consolidating, going sideways right now. So pretend that this is the daily chart, right? This is the daily chart. And then ideally you want to wait for break of the structure, right? So price to come down here, break this last low and come back up to retest this last higher low to form potentially a new low high. And then this is where you want to enter for the trade. So when you look at this, right? If you go down to like, let's say the four hour time frame, right? Or even the one hour time frame, this move right here, this little up move right here will look something like this. Mini higher highs high lows like this and then eventually on the smaller time frame on the four hour time frame you want to look for your break of structure price form a new lower high start breaking through the last higher low there we have it the break of structure so now the break of structure in the four hour time frame has confirmed to us that right now price is going to head back down this little retracement is done and price is going to continue to head back down so that is why we want to enter right here for a nice sniper entry as soon as price break structure we have a confirmation we have our confluence we can immediately enter for a sell Papoon, baby so for this break of structure entry honestly you can either enter when price creates this lower high or wait for price to break through this last higher low and then come back up to retest it, then enter for a sell right here. I prefer to do it the second way, which is this one right here. You enter after a price break structure, create a new lower high after it has retested the last higher low. So in this case, this gives me like a much more higher confirmation or even a higher confluence so that I can be more confident to hold the trade all the way down. But, 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 but on drawing, it looks easy and easy to trade, but on a chart, it's much more complicated. Well, that's true, brogy. Obviously, it's going to be much more complicated on charts. If it's as simple as is it like that in the drawing, everyone will be rich, right? Dumbass. So basically, this is what it will look like on the charts, right? So you can start seeing price is actually in a downtrend right now. Price has created like somewhat of a consolidation over here. You can see this little consolidation right here. Price is creating your multiple like triple top over here and price has just broken past the last lower low so this is the last lower low and price has just broken through the last lower low right and right now like i said what we are waiting for is your break of structure on a smaller time frame as soon as price has come back up to retest this last low that we have right here so easily we have drawn like a little resistance area that we have right here which i've already drawn for you guys because i'm a good gentleman so yeah draw like a little area right here this little support area whatever let's like call it support area or the last low now we are waiting for price to come back up to retest this low over here right that's the key we are waiting for price to come up to retest this low and you do not want to enter immediately when price like come up to retest this low and just immediately enter for a sell because price can easily still go up and this can be a fake out and guess what price can just go up and you have just lost a shit ton of money dumbass so what you want to do is to go down to the smaller time frame right so over here remember like i said we are on the daily time frame so this is what we will see on the daily time frame we want to enter when the retracement is done so how do you know when the re this little retracement is going to be done by looking at the market structure and waiting for the break of structure so at this point of time go down to the smaller time frame the four hour time frame right so over here we can see that okay this is the little retracement this is the little counter trend right so what you can even do is that you can even draw like the counter trend line right here right so right now price is still forming your higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher high so potentially price could approach this zone right here and start to give us some sort of like consolidation over here to show us that this little retracement is losing its strength so that is exactly what we are looking out for so we're just gonna wait and you can see price boom price go up there and start forming like this long ass upper wig so what does this tell us guys if you see this long ass upper wig that we have right here right chances are 
there's a lot of sellers selling at this area, right? All the sellers are literally waiting at this area to short the price down, right? But I'm not going to enter for a sell yet because remember, we are waiting for the break of structure. So you can see price starts forming a new like lower high right here, this high low and then this high right here. And we can potentially start to enter for a sell. I'll enter for a sell once price break through this last, like, last low that we have right here. This is the last high low. So that's when I'm going to enter when price break through it. Bam, right there, guys. You can see immediately price break through the last higher low over here. And if you wanted to enter for a sell like somewhere right around here, right? You should not be placing your stop loss like freaking tight like this, right? You should give it a little bit of breathing room, place it above this area that we have right here. If you place it very tight like this, guess what? Price is going to stop you out over here. The next time price is going to come up to retest this area and guess what? You just lost a whole lot of money just to see the trade go in your way. And you end up thinking that you are the worst trader in the world, blah, 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 blah. Stop being a bitch. So next, we are waiting for price to come back up to retest this area that we have right here. And that is what price is doing right now. You can see price is forming a new lower high. So the moment price breaks through this last high low, right? This is the break of structure that I'm looking for, right? Let me just give you a brief recap. So what we did was that on a daily time frame, we waited for price to come back up to retest this low that we have right here. Market structure, guys. Lower high, lower low in the downtrend. So after price has done retested this area that we have right here, we zoom down to the smaller time frame, the four hour time frame to look for our sniper entry. And in this smaller time frame, we are looking for the break of structure because this retracement is an uptrend and we want to trade the downtrend, right? Because this is the downtrend, the overall higher time frame trend which is the downtrend. So we are waiting for the break of structure of this little uptrend. So the moment price come down, break the last higher low in this little counter trend we can look to enter for a sell and trade in the direction with the overall, the higher time frame trend. Get it? So in this case, enter for a sell right here, I'm going to be placing my stop loss above this last lower high. I mean this last high that we have right here and place your take profit all the way down at this swing low that I have right here. So if you go down to the daily time frame, you can see that this is actually the last swing low, right? So like I said, important guys, make sure you use all the time frames, right? Not all the time frames, I mean, make sure try to combine multiple time frames. The last thing you want to do is to just like stick to one time frame or like just neglect the higher time frames. That's what I mean, neglect the higher time frames. Do not do that. So if you just like look at four hour time frame, right? You can see there's multiple levels where I can place my take profit. This area right here, this area right here, all these are levels where I can take profits, right? Take profit one, take profit two, take profit three, right? So all these are examples of where you can place your take profit basically at levels where price reverse. So you look towards the left, you see price reverse right here, price reverse right here. So somewhat support area right here, support area right here where you can take your profit. But in this case, we're just going to take profit all the way down at this last swing low so that we can maximize our profit potential, right? So in this case, let's look at what price does. Price goes down, goes down, goes down, goes down, goes down, goes down. Uh, I, I, I think it's gonna take a while and we have finally smashed our take profit all the way down here. Price has finally reached this area that we have drawn right here. I believe you can even go down even lower, look at this. Price starts creating like a down bottom, you can either get out of here, right? You can either get out at this area right here, somewhere right around here, you're out of the trade. Right. Another thing I like to do is that instead of like getting out like somewhere right around here, I will have moved my stop loss that I have, which was above here, all the way up here. I'll move it all the way down to like maybe somewhere right around here at this last lower high. Yeah, so basically whenever price is creating market structure, you should move your stop loss. So over here, move it to here and price created this new lower high, move it to here again and you can see. Eventually, price goes down even lower, smash our take profit that we have right here. That we have drawn right here, smash our take profit and it starts going down even lower, right? As simple as that, guys. So that's the whole concept of using break of structure to look for your sniper entries. So the next strategy I want to show you is actually called the force breakout strategy, right? This is the strategy that will fake out a lot of retail newbie traders, right? Because a lot of retail traders hear the same old advice of when price breaks out, just enter. Just enter immediately when price breaks out for a buy. And next thing you know, this is a false breakout and price reverses in the other direction and you lose a lot of money. Like 90% of the traders who are absolute brokies, losers, absolute failures. Which is why we need to take advantage of this and trade the false breakout, right? Let me show you what I mean. So in the uptrend, you know, price is creating a higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. 
and higher lows, right? But at some point of time, price is gonna come down here, retest this last higher low, this, this same old last higher low, and it's even gonna break past this last higher low that we have right here. It's gonna break past. And at this point of time, newbie radio traders start to think that, oh my God, price is gonna go down right now. Price is, 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 is gonna collapse right now because price has just broke through the last higher low. And they think that this is a valid break of structure, but little do they know that this is actually a false breakout and price actually ended up going even higher. So in this case, what you could have done is that when price broke through the last higher low, you can enter for a buy when price starts reverses and it gives you like a nice close above this level that I have right here, like a nice candlestick close that we have above right here. So you can enter for a buy somewhere right around here and then take the profit up. I mean like take the, watch your profits, rocket, sky rocket, whatever you want to call it, man. Now let's look at a few examples on the charts. So over here, you can see that I've drawn up like this little higher low right here because price is creating your higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. So this is clear, this day price is in the uptrend, right? So right now, this is the last higher low, right? This is the last higher low. And you can see price is like coming down to retest this last higher low. So look at what price did. Price eventually actually broke past this last higher low, guys. Remember, when price broke past it, the last higher low, do not do anything. You want to wait for signs to see if price is reversing at this area and this is a false breakout or this is actually a real breakout and price is going to reverse and head back down. At this point of time, I'm waiting, all right? I'm still waiting. So you can see price goes down, goes down, but it starts reversing at this area and it actually close above this little higher low area that we have right here. So what does this tell us? This tells us that this is actually a false breakout and you can enter for a buy, right? So if you go down to the 15 minute time frame, you can start seeing like all these candlesticks are just closing above this area. And we also have a double bottom that we have right here. So clear as day, price is gonna reverse and price is going to head back up. So you can enter for a buy somewhere right around here. Place your stop loss below this low that we have right here and take profit at this high that we have right here. This little high area right here. All right, this would be a very valid take profit because this is the last swing high, right? And you can see price just rock it up and smash your take profit right there. Very, very simple strategy. Let me just show you another. Now, this time around, price is in a downtrend because price is creating a lower highs, low lows, lower highs, lower lows. So over here, this is the last lower high, right? And you can see price is going down even further and it's coming up to start like retesting this area that we have right here. You can see the moment price come up to retest this area right here, this last lower high area that we have right here, do you want to enter immediately for a sell right here? Comment down your answer, yes or no. Do you enter immediately when price has retest this last level? If you answered yes, guess what? You're gonna remain broke because you haven't been paying attention to what I've been teaching you for the past goddamn 20 minutes. But basically, the answer is no because you want to wait for signs that show you that price is either going to reverse and head back down or is it gonna break past it? Because price can do any one of these two things, right? And if you enter for a sell here, what if price actually go up and break this area and just go up even higher? you have lost money. So now we want to wait for price to come back up to retest this area first and give us like a false breakout, which we have right here. You can see somewhere right around here, price actually broke past the area that we have drawn and start giving us upper wicks. Upper wicks means what? Sellers selling the GPUSD, pushing the price down. So at this point of time, this was a false breakout. And I see there's also a What's this? Evening star candlestick pattern. So easily enter for a sell right here and take profit all the way down at this swing low that we have right here or can even take profit at this area right here or even this area right here, right? So I'm just gonna take profit at this swing low that we have right here, this most recent swing low. You can see price goes down, goes down, goes down and smash your take profit. That's the first breakout strategy. Very, very simple, but yet very, very practical. The next strategy is called a pullback strategy. So how it works is Let's that, say once again, price is consolidating around this area, maybe after a huge uptrend and it starts consolidating around this area. So you can the resistance area here, you got a support area right here. So the moment price breaks out of this last high right here, we are waiting for price to come back down to retest this area or even pull back slightly like this 
before entering for a buy right so how do you know when this pullback is done and price is going to continue to go up now what you can do is that you can put like a moving average right you can put like a maybe like a 20 moving average which will look something like this and you can wait for price to retest this 20 moving average and it starts showing you signs that it's going to go back up then you enter for a buy right here and you can start to see price going back up but basically usually when price break out of a key level price will tend to like retest that level or pull back a little bit before going up even higher so what price can do is that like, you can start pulling back like this pull back up to this like 20 moving average before it starts going back up like this so like i said the best friend for this strategy would be your 20 moving average so just such 20, uh, moving average that we have right here and just change it to 20 right that would be your best friend that you're gonna have during this trading strategy right so over here you can see there's a resistance area that we had to have drawn right here and price has just broken past the resistance area so now we are waiting for price to pull back before we enter for the trade so the moment price like starts going up like this going up like massively like this right you should not be entering for a buy because if you enter for a buy immediately when the price break out it can be a fake out or you enter for a buy like somewhere right around here after price is broke out guess where stop loss must be all the way down here and look at the distance of a stop loss that's a super duper wide stop loss and you don't want that to happen to you so in that case if you are too late to the market price has already made its move you want to wait for price to pull back or rather retrace before entering for the trade so price starts going down pulling back all the way down to this area but it did not touch this resistance area so over here we can look to see that price has actually managed to retrace to the 20 moving average right retrace back to the 20 moving average if you go up to the daily time frame you could see that you can see price has managed to pull back down to this 20 moving average so you can enter for a buy somewhere right around here take profit at the next key level right and then you can start seeing price creating your higher highs higher lows once again higher high and higher low and then price did another resistance area right here you can see another resistance area that we have right here this is another high and when price broke out of this high we are waiting for price to come back down to retrace back to this 20 moving average you can see price retrace back to this 20 moving average that is when we can enter for a buy and price just continue shooting up right so when you're trading this pullback strategy right you can either enter after price has pulled back to the 20 moving average or after price has pulled back to the last key level so if price pull back to this area right here and start showing you signs that it's going to go back up you can enter for that then as well right but whatever you do you must wait for price to pull back or retest back to either the 20 ma or the key level or the last high low whatever you like to call it now if you want to learn more about price action trading and every single thing i know about price action you can consider checking out the trading blueprint link in the description and also make sure you download my free ebook called the path to becoming a profitable trader and smash on that like button if you have enjoyed this video and hit on that subscribe button because we are posting valuable content just like this one every single week without fail and since you like price action trading you should definitely watch this video next it's gonna make you a lot of money remember you're just one trade away Mwah.